All right. Our next caller is Isaiah from Ohio. What's up, Isaiah? How can we help you? Hey, good. I appreciate you guys taking my call. This is pretty cool. Um, I have a quick question. I'm going to be a police officer here starting actually tomorrow. Um, I start at the department. Um, next After next week, they're going to be sending me to the academy uh, for four months. Um, I follow mostly mass program, do um, pretty much all resistance training. Um, up until I found out I was going to the academy, I started implementing more cardio. I'm not a cardio guy. I hate running. <laughs> um, but my main, my question is, how do I work in um, resistance training around everything that I'm going to be doing at the academy? So obviously, most every single morning, um, we do, you know, the normal push-ups, sit-ups in about two to three, four miles of running every morning, um, which is quite a bit for me coming from my background of little running um, up until this point. Um, so I'm wondering how to program. I follow pretty much all MAPS programs. I have quite a bit, few of them. Um, but I'm trying to figure out what's going to be the best programming for me while I'm trying to manage both the working out still in the morning um, and then the stresses of whatever I'm doing during the day um, as far as the training that they put me through. Um, and then how, what would you guys say would be like the best program for like after work? Should I be focusing on, you know, mainly recovery? Um, just do four months of figuring out mobility, working on that because that's something I'm lacking. Or is there a way I can still implement um, a good resistance training routine and not overstress my body? Yeah, basically? I would. I would do an anabolic. Although you just made another point about wanting to focus on mobility, which there's nothing wrong with blending uh, the programs. Right? Here's an example where right. I would do this with somebody. I might follow the foundational training from anabolic and take the mobility days from performance. I think since you okay. said, I wouldn't have said that until you just pointed out that that's an area that you know you can work on. And so this might be a great opportunity for you to implement that. Um, but I, yeah, I'd say MAPS anabolic with the mobility days from performance. Yeah. Well, I, Isaiah, first off, uh, I appreciate you doing what you're going to do. We need more good uh, police officers. So that's awesome. But you're going to a police academy, right? So this will be four mm -hmm. months of academy. And I'm sure you're pretty familiar. I'm sure you know what you're going to be doing. It's, it's somewhat grueling. There's a lot of workouts. You're going to be training with them on an almost daily basis, right? Yeah. Yeah. So with all those workouts and training that you're doing with them, you don't need to add much more to your, your total programming. In fact, if you try to add too much, you're going to run into some problems. Honestly, right. to be quite honest, I've trained a few people through the academy. I've actually had clients who hired me and then went through the academy and they tried to follow their normal workouts while they also did the academy. And within a month, they were like, this is just uh, too much. So honestly, what I'm going to recommend is do the academy workouts and then add like another day, if you want, of strength training and then mainly focus on mobility. Are you going to lose some of your max strength and stuff like that? Yeah, probably, but not a ton. But that's not the point. The point is you want to get through the academy, become a police officer. When you graduate... Then you can go back to your old training and make sure you incorporate. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Anabolic how, one day a week and then mobility. That's the rest. it. Yeah, that's it. So like one day. How, do, how long is is your academy? It's four months. Right around four months. I'm not exactly four sure. months. Four months. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah during that. Yeah. I would say during that whole period of time, do maybe one foundational workout a week. Um, uh, and then just do the academy workouts. And yeah, you're probably going to lose some of your you know, bodybuilding gains or whatever you got from the MAPS programs, but that's okay. You're kind of getting conditioned and following their protocol. But when you're done with it, you can go back to your old programming and, you know, maintain a certain level of, uh, you know, of running because you're going to need some of that stamina, of course, in your, in the line of duty. Um, but right. yeah, don't, don't try to like throw everything at your body while you're doing this. The Academy is yeah. somewhat strenuous. The beauty of it is, you know, muscle memory. And so like right now, like you said, you, you haven't really adapted to the conditioning and the durability yet. So I would embrace that as your new adaptation focus and really just try and reinforce your joints with mobility practices to try and keep everything healthy and moving forward. But, you know, embrace it for now and just uh, try your best to just kind of focus on, uh, you know, gaining that, that type of conditioning. Isaiah, do you own anabolic and performance already? I have anabolic. I don't have performance. Okay, there we go. We yeah. can shoot them performance. Yeah, we'll send a uh, uh, performance yeah. over to you. And, and so you're using the mobility days from performance and then following a MAPS foundational day one. 
Yeah, one a week. And and honestly, even with that recommendation, still listen to your body because there is a possibility that that may even be taxing because of all the work that you're going to be doing there. Yeah, so. for, from what I recall, I know that each academy is probably different, right? Uh, because they're run by the the city, but. I worked with police with the people who went through San Jose Police Academy, and from what I recall, it was like daily workouts, <clears throat> including running, lots of calisthenics, and then at some point they reduced the workouts and would focus more on, uh, you know, like certain things like how to take someone down, how to, you know, mm-hmm. hold, you know, uh, you know, how to use your weapon in a particular way, you know, law focus. It, when that happens, then you can incorporate more of your workouts. But, you know, to put it differently, your priority is the ac- academy. So place mm-hmm. your energy and focus on the academy. That's where your energy and focus is. So stay in that. <clears throat> and then if you add anything, it's to complement it. Don't try to suppl- Don't try to replace it. Does that make sense? Yeah, for sure. All right. Perfect. And where's the, um, just the other part of the question was, I was thinking like going into it, I wanted to try and lean out a bit. I'm a little higher on my body. I'm coming from like a 12 hour shift <laughs> nights job. So my sleep schedule has been terrible. I put on a little weight since, since starting the job, but I was wondering like, should I go into it trying to lean out, like keep my calories low? Or should I just really focus on, you know, getting through it, not really have, I think what, that's, what that's, na- I think that's naturally going to happen. Yeah. Focus on your, yeah. Per- just, yeah. yeah. But I I'm worried about said- it because I'm, I have quite a bit of muscle on me right now. I'm worried that most of that with all the running is going to be my muscle going away and I'm not going to be like leaning out. No, 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 no. The body, the body, you're it to, to utilize uh muscle. It's a, it's an expensive tissue and the body doesn't want to use muscle. It will it much rather utilize fat as a source of fuel if it doesn't have carbohydrates, right? So if it doesn't have, you know, glucose, it's going to move over to fat before it wants to move it. So your body does not want to, to burn muscle. So don't be afraid of, of that going on. You're not going to lose mostly muscle, especially if you're doing things like push-ups and pull-ups and sit-ups and mm-hmm. then one day a week of, of foundational training. <coughs> you'd actually probably be really surprised. You're probably going to hang on to a good amount of muscle mass. You'll probably just lean out. Even if you do lose a little bit of muscle and strength, as soon as you get out of the academy, it's you're going to probably rebound really nice. That's, that's the big one. Like, Don't worry about it. It'll it, When you're done with the academy, you can kind of go back to your old – Training, you know, again, incorporate some more stamina and the muscle, whatever little muscle you lose, you'll mm-hmm. gain right back. As far as getting leaner is concerned, just eat healthy to feed performance. You'll probably lean out from that. That's, you know, but I wouldn't make it a focus. I wouldn't sit there and be like, <laughs> I'm going to go into calorie deficit. I got to get shredded because the priority is the academy, not your physique. No, you need the energy to, to perform at your best. So keep that as a main focus and that'll just naturally occur because it's a totally new stimulus. Right. Okay. All right, man. We're going to send you over Maps Performance, okay? Awesome. I really appreciate that. No problem. Get those bad guys, all right? <laughs> all right. They don't even know. <laughs> they don't even know. They don't even they know. Don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> man, I appreciate Get you guys taking cool. I'm, I'm really looking forward to seeing where Mind Pub goes for me. You guys have changed a lot about the way I work out and the way I talk about fitness. So it's awesome. 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 Thanks, man. Thank you, Isaiah. Thanks, guys. Have a good one. You Get too. better. Yeah, that's, um, again, you know, it, I get it, by the way, because I'm like that. If I had to train, I, I did this, hap- this happened for me when I did jujitsu or judo. I remember I'd be like, oh, man, I don't want to lose my gains. And it actually took away from my performance in those sports because I was too focused on, you know, the muscle, the way it looked and stuff. It's like you got to prioritize one thing or the other, and then it comes back. It comes back so easy and so fast. I, I, actually, I actually think that he's going to get – because this sounds like it's so out of the norm for him, the way they're going to be training, body weight exercises. You're right. He running. might get surprised, right? I, I bet you, you – it's just like what happens when you take a guy like one of it's us. Like newbie gains. Yeah, yeah. right. And and we're, and you're so into uh, lifting weights all the time, then all of a sudden you do a body weight program or like a suspension trainer program, <clears> and you see – phenomenal results from it the body is just it's just a a new adaptation and i bet his body ends up uh, loving him for it so i i I imagine if he so so long as he doesn't eat like an asshole he makes good food choices and and stays fed and and then uh follows the academy and stuff like that and maybe one day a week of maps anabolic i think that he's going to be surprised on on how he shapes up from it yeah agreed 